Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be uh, every sun, moon, and as well uh, rising. Uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career. And uh, just to remind you guys that these are a general readings indeed. And uh, they are gonna pick up on your on the collective energies for Aries and Aries' is potential. But if you do uh, have a better way and simply you don't like it, by all means, do whatever you feel is best for you. So that being said, uh, first reading that I'm gonna do for you is going to be your uh, love and relationship. And the first card we have for that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Moving next, uh, that is going to be the Two of uh, Pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the Four of Cups. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Uh, that's very interesting. So, um, Reading is about reassurance, really. Um, can I say it? Right, so I have to pretty much pick it apart because it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a messy. It's a bit all over the place. So what we do have here it's the six of pentacles as, as, as the prime card of uh, of the reading, and that pretty much points that the week is going to be rather. Um, a mainstream. What I'm trying to say is that something has been set in motion and um, not much can be, in, can, can be done for it to be changed. So pretty much you have to kind of like a go with the flow. Now that being said, Six of Pentacles in terms of a relationships, it's a rather very potent card in terms of clearing out disagreements and arguments. So if you are on rather on the edge with uh, your beloved one or with your person of interest or with somebody that you do love in generally, uh, it will be a good week to start talking about it. That is because the hierarchy is going to be maintained throughout the week. Although that person may not be agreed with your uh, statements or with your testimonies or in generally with the way how you do view the things around, uh, they will not going to dispute them. Um, what I'm trying to say is that they will accept that that is your way, although they do have their way around. So it's not like it, they're not going to point you like the wrong person or the good, the guilty person and etc. etc. within the situation, but just the different person. And uh, that being said, because we do have the two of pentacles here into the second position, uh, you should not change your standpoint, you should not change your concepts, and you should not try to align, okay, with, uh, with, the, with the attempts of subjugation of the other side, but you should stay just as you are, true to yourself, because for what I said at the start of the reading, that something has been set in motion, and that thing, uh, that activity or rather like a event that is set in motion is neutral to you and it is neutral to the other part as well to your wife to your husband to whomever um, and what happens here is that right now the opinions are forming and the outcome of it is anybody's guess at the current stage that's why you should not abandon your um your vision that's why you should not abandon your standpoints okay but that doesn't mean that you should not try to understand the other part for the, uh, the other party I'm sorry for the other party is going to try to understand you as well um, the four of cups here that stands into the reading it is just uh, it just shows that how can I say it 
that the time of changes has came, but that is not the changes of the death card, where things end and another thing start. This is the time of change of in a sense of that the situation that you are having in between, for example, you and your beloved one, or for example, you and your person of interest has reached its maximum potential. And now you both have to think how that thing is going to unravel moving forward. Are you going to be together? Or are you not going to be together? And that is a question that will linger for a quite a while because it cannot be resolved before uh, this, this event that have been set in motion, which I do suspect that is going to be the event of uh, the clearance of the situation. Can you be together? Can you move on together moving forward or can you not? Um, becomes obvious. And at the end of the week, you are ending up in a situation where you alone are not going to know the answer, okay? Uh, but that is going to be okay. Because at that point, you are going to be convinced that whatever happens has been meant to happen and it's for the greater good. So either you stay with this guy or with that woman or not. Or either if this person of interest shows uh, their intentions towards you or not, it's okay for it had, a, it had its reasons. And from there, the best is, uh, is yet to come, okay? So that's, uh, that's pretty much the reassurance of the reading. And uh, if you do have any hectic, hectic wavering entering into the week, if you do have any suspicious, if you do have any uh, doubts that things, the thing is gonna work out, the reassurance is not going to be that yes, it's going to work out or not, it's not going to work out, but it will be the reassurance is going to be that whatever happens is going to be okay. So that was, uh, that was your love tarot reading. Uh, in other words, you will become in peace with whatever is happening to you right now and whatever it is to happen with you and your love life for the near future from now on. Uh, so that was uh, your love tarot reading Aries. Now let's have a look uh, what your career has in store for you. This is, uh, by the way, what I hate um, for the impromptu readings without the question. Uh, that sometimes the message is not exactly clear. And uh, because there is no question to channel it toward. Okay, it's just a general reading. And you just have to pick the reading apart. And I don't think that this is a, a good way of, uh, of showcasing, um, you know, tarot interpretation or in generally making a tarot, tarot interpretation at all. It may be entertaining, you know, it may be appealing to the audience, but it's just not my way. What I like to do when I do, uh, when I make tarot reading is when I, ha when I am asked a question, I lay down the cards and I immediately understand the question, the, the answer, okay? I do understand it. The, the, the whole thing into tarot reading with me is to translate it to you, okay? I do have, uh, when I turn down the cards, I do have the impression what the answer is, and I just have to convey it to you in a way that you understand it as well. Which is not the case with the general readings in general. General readings, they're more like a, a storytelling. And that's not what Taro is about. Right. So enough, uh, enough digression here. And uh, in terms of your career, the first card that we do have is going to be the Four of Swords. Moving next, that will be the Magician. Uh, followed by the Four of Wands, and the last one is going to be the Three of Wands. Now, I, I will need a minute here, and I will sip a coffee, okay? That magician just doesn't make any sense. Unless. Well... This is how it stands, okay? Uh, I will have to pick that reading apart as well. So, um, because we do have the Four of Swords here into the prime position, uh, uh, this card guarantees that your week in terms of career is going to be very peaceful. Now, whatever problems you are facing from the previous week, 
those problems are going to vanish. And that's the right word that I should use. They are going to vanish. They are not going to be resolved. That is very important. Uh, because in the week after, you know, or in a couple of weeks from now, or maybe in a month from now, some of those problems or all of those problems are going to reemerge. So here you do have a gap of time, which is granted to you, Aries, to um, recreate your strategy, how to solve those problems and as well to accomplish as much as you can without those problems being around. So when those problems re-emerge, you do have this time around the time and the appropriate strategy for you to resolve them as they pop up once again. That being said, this week, instead of you struggling, resolving this issue and that issue is going to be a week of where you are to accomplish rather um, very important um, or establish a very important finalizations of a cycles, which could be, for example, creating a good plan, which could be, for example, finishing a project and etc. etc. It's just whatever under cycle, I mean, a, a an enterprise that you will be able to accomplish uh, for throughout the week, which accomplishments are going to uh, serve as a uh, a very well established pattern for you, a very well established foundation, if you will, that will help you step on it and from there expand even further for the tree of wands as how you're going to find yourself at the end of the week. It is where you do have um, already accomplished for the most part, whatever tasks you had. Um, given to you in terms of a career and uh, at that point by the end of the week you have to look around yourself to see something more challenging for you to do so you can excel in term of uh, in term of your career it is like showing bigger capability and bigger bigger capacity to the business uh, that you are working for now the magician at the second position here to me speaks for a two things one of them it is that you may have a hidden enemy there at your job okay someone that really wants to place you as a victim of the circumstances so in other words placing a traps here and there for you okay the other way how looking how you can look at the uh, magician card it is that your voice is not heard uh, in a sense of that uh, you pretty much whatever you suggest is always denied whatever you um say is always neglected and the last thing that we can look at the magician uh, which th there are four things but one is excluded because we do have the other cards the magician would stands that whatever job you're doing uh, would have stand that whatever job you're doing you don't have the necessary skills and knowledge to do it but the other cards pretty much denies that okay um, uh, the the last thing that the magician can stand for it is that you don't have nearly as much influence and sovereignty that you need and you have to work on building it okay you just have to prove yourself from now on in front of your boss or in front of your supervisor that you do have what it takes to grow in this uh, in this job now those that are a um, those that are a jobless um, they are likely to find job through being petitioned rather than through finding them on their own. Uh, that is just an energy and affinity. Of course, some of you may find it on their own. It just is gonna be far easier if you do ha find a friend that can petition for you in their, uh, in their work or in their business that has an empty place to be, or a vacated place to be uh, someone to be assigned to. So that was uh, that was your uh, general tarot readings, Aries. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them, guys. And uh, with that being said, uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.